these studies are not me as you put the seat back and I'll see you by the low mama want to stuck in the spot and watch time sad news rapper folio has reportedly been shot and has died ladies and gentlemen welcome to the check and report sad news man um Miami rapper folio um he got his fame from you know pretty much you know dissing dissing the the deceased sadly um but you know it, it's just another cautionary tale um and, and and it shows that a lot of a lot of these young men a lot of these young rappers you have to stop dissing the deceased man i mean we we could we could really we could literally take this back to f f g b d uh f g b duck duck excuse me f, f g d duck and um we could start it there when he was dissing on the, his, his dead ops and you know he had his untimely demise man we have to stop doing that the you know the young men in this generation i mean i have to stop doing it you know he got his fame off of the popular song uh when i see you now in when i see you he actually goes to one of uh, uh, his ops grave and he, he's like you know he's at the cemetery he's doing dances he's recorded a whole music video there i mean it was just a bad look and you know all it does is create the cycle all it does is create the cycle now someone is going to troll him and his family you know these young men have to let these beefs go when someone is gone and they're no longer here let the beef go let it go the person's no longer here and now we see that this young man has lost his life and i want to send condolences to him and his family and uh, his friends as well i mean it, it's just another sad story and in the song uh when i see you he actually says that this is the, this is the lyric that he says on the particular song where he's like dissing him on his house and this is what makes it spooky he says went out to eat on his birthday four shots three deceased in the worst way he kept dissing on me now we smoking 23 now what's, what makes this whole thing crazy is Julio was shot and killed on his birthday that's what makes this thing absolutely crazy and i believe i heard somewhere that he actually was turning 23 that's what makes this whole thing spooky but uh, let's get into the um let's get into the news report that uh that they did it i mean this is just absolutely uh crazy you know these young men you you have we have to stop this and on the deceased man let the beefs go let's let's play this clip right here queen around 4 40 this morning we received a 911 call about a shooting that happened here in the parking lot behind me on mckinley and fowler what we have learned and again this is all very early in the investigation is that two cars were shot at four people were shot in total as a result of this, three of them were transported to hospitals and one was pronounced deceased here on the scene. So we are working to learn what led up to the shooting, motive. You can see behind me, a lot of officers are here. They are talking with witnesses. They are looking for video as it pertains to the shooting. Uh, as far as the people that are at local hospitals, we are working to get an update on their condition it seems like they will survive their injuries, but again, that's very early in the investigation. Uh, those are really the details that I have at this point as we're unfolding and getting updates. I'll take a couple of questions for what I can't say. Judy, were these guests at the hotel, do you know, that were staying here with some kind of beef or rivalry? Is that at this point, it's part of the investigation, but it seems that they might have been coming here to the hotel to get a room. Can you say anything about um, the, the, the guests that were staying in the hotel? Did they have to be evacuated or they were like were they told to stay in place after after the incident this morning? Part of the investigation, I don't think so because of what time it happened. At this point, you know, guests are waking up and we're updating them and we are assisting them with anything that they need assistance with at this time. But it didn't happen inside the hotel. It was uh, in the parking lot. And so do you know how many suspects there were? How many people had guns? part of the investigation we're hoping to be able to figure that part out as well as get a description of the suspect so that we can get that information out to you but I can tell you that there are cameras here and our officers are working to be 
view all of the cameras and talk with people, you know, who might have seen anything or heard anything. And I think that's the biggest thing at this point. You know, we always say it, but in cases like this, it really does make the difference. If you saw something, if you heard something, any little detail can help us figure out what happened here. We know at this point around four. Absolutely crazy. And there's actually footage of Folio at the at the uh, at the hotel. Let me pull that up. This right here. This is actually footage. Um, he, he was telling people to pull up at a pool party. He said five, six o'clock, pull up to the pool party. This is his uh, Instagram. The pool party start the day at five, six o'clock. You already got the address, pull up, man. You got the address, pull up. If you need the address, DM me right now. The pool party start at five, six o'clock. DM me for the address of DM Fulio booking ESPN. I'm gonna put it right here. Got me drinking, cuz. <laughs> I don't need drink, cuz. Uh, <laughs> we can't do before fuck for my birthday, man. Everybody coming up with the spell. Oh my God, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We deep as hell. We deep as hell. 20 deep. Lit. Everywhere we go. Hey. Wow. It's, it's just crazy. This is absolutely crazy. And, you know, this is just another cautionary tale young men that are rappers young men in the streets let your beefs go when someone is deceased no longer here give the families respect and just saying you know let 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 you know let those beefs go man you know it's sad and i, and I also want to send a condolences to the families he dissed i want to send a condolences to his family and to his friends but i also want to send a condolences to the people that you know that he was dissing on because those families were hurting they had to endure through a whole song that you know no, you know nobody's policing this stuff you know no, no. And, and that's another thing we need to police we need to police what, what, what we allow in hip-hop we need a committee we need something where we, things like this doesn't get you know uh pushed but you know these people you know these young people you know they, they had to suffer his family had to suffer through a hit record uh when i see you dissing on you know three uh deceased individuals they had to endure through that they had to you know cope with that so uh, let me know what you guys think of this story fulio uh miami rapper uh deceased shot at his birthday party absolutely crazy let me guys know let me know what you guys think of this story just check in report we out man are you a sophisticated man that likes to take care of your sophisticated beard? Head over to BadassBeardCare.com where they have all of your essential needs. Beard butters, beard balms, beard oils, combs, and different things to take care of your essential needs for your beard. Badass Beard Care. Head over there. And you can use Check In 2024 for 10% off on all your items. Please go check it out now. We out.